<laughs> Terrible creature that appeared in the forest. A little pest. Life became unbearable because of it, as it annoyed everyone. So the animals went to the three-headed dragon, Gorinik, for help. Please help us, they said. There's no escape from this parasite. As soon as we get distracted, it's right there, and there's nowhere to hide. Gorinish went to deal with this creature in the forest. After a while, he came to a clearing with a tree stump in the middle, and someone was sitting on it. Who are you? asked Gorinish. Well, the locals call me the Little Pest, replied the creature. Then Gorinich started stomping, flapping his wings and spewing fire, making a frightening scene. After making a lot of noise, he asked menacingly, So are you scared? Oh, I'm scared, replied the creature. It's the first time I'll be something so terrifying. A prince married, and her wedding night is approaching. She's worried because her body is a bit worn out. She decides to consult a psychologist. The psychologist asks, What's your problem? I'm afraid that after the wedding night, my husband will leave me because I'm not a virgin, not even close. Well, here's my advice. On your wedding night, pretend to be inexperienced. Scream as if in pain. Give the impression that it's your first time. Thanks for the advice. I'll do just that. The wedding night comes. Everything goes according to plan. The prostitute screams loudly. So does her husband. Everything ends. The husband asks, Darling, why were you screaming? Well, it's pretty painful the first time. Why were you screaming? You see, I was scared when my balls fell in. A man had a quarrel with his wife, and in anger, he sent her to hell, and the devil took her and kept her. The man lived alone for a month and got bored. He approached the devil and said, Give me back my wife. The devil responded, I will give her back if you can recognize her three times. The man confidently said, I will recognize her. The devil led him into a large room. There were many naked women in the room all of them with their backs to the man. The man walked along them three times, and each time he correctly identified his wife without fail. The devil was curious and asked him, Listen, how do you manage to do this? The man replied, It's very simple. I walk along the naked backsides, and I have my on. But as soon as I approach my wife's, it falls. At school, Little Johnny's classmate tells him that most adults are hiding at least one dark secret, so it's very easy to blackmail them by saying, I know the whole truth. Little Johnny decides to go home and try it out. Johnny's mother greets him at home and he tells her, I know the whole truth. His mother quickly hands him $20 and says, Just don't tell your father. Quite pleased, the boy waits for his father to get home from work and greets him with, I know the whole truth. The father promptly hands him $40 and says, Please don't say a word to your mother. Very pleased, the boy is on his way to school the next day when he sees the mailman at his front door. The boy greets him by saying, I know the whole truth. The mailman immediately drops the mail opens his arms and says, Then come give your daddy a great big hug. Finally, Johnny's older brother gets married. The morning after the wedding, the guests wake up and the groom's mother invites everyone to breakfast. Everyone shows up except for the newlyweds. They wait, but the couple doesn't appear. The mother wonders aloud, Why aren't they coming? Johnny, with a grin, says, I think I know. His mother quickly scolds him in front of the guests. By lunchtime, the newlyweds still haven't appeared. The mother again expresses her confusion, and Johnny, grinning mischievously, repeats, I think I know. He gets another scolding. Dinner time rolls around, and there's still no sign of the newlyweds. The mother is panicking. I just don't understand. Where could they be? Johnny 
covering his ears, says again, I think I know. His mother demands an explanation. Johnny finally reveals, I think when my brother was looking for Vaseline in the cupboard last night, he accidentally took my model airplane glue. A guy is getting ready for a disco in the village. He has something to wear, but nothing to put on his feet. But his father has new shoes, dress shoes, shiny. They are kept in a box for a special occasion. Well, he begged his father for three hours. In short, he borrowed them under the threat of a severe beating from his father. He arrives, looking all fashionable. He approaches a girl in a miniskirt and says, Want me to guess what color your panties are? Well, try. He looks into his shoe like a mirror and says, Red! The girl is shocked. She rushes to her friend, tells her everything. The friend suggests, Let's swap panties! They swap. The girl goes back to him. Now can you guess? The guy looks into his shoe and says, Green! The girl is shocked again. She tells her friend everything. She replies, Just take your panties off. She takes them off and goes to the guy. Can you guess now? The guy looks into his shoe. He looks and faints. The girl slaps him on the cheeks, asking what happened. The guy comes to and starts inspecting his shoe urgently. He breathes out and says, Damn, I thought I tore my shoe. A cop, a firefighter, and a morgue worker are sitting in a bar. They're drinking and sharing stories about their work. The cop says, I recently single-handedly arrested a gang of murderers, and I was immediately promoted and awarded a medal. The firefighter responds, That's nothing! I recently responded to a call. A house was on fire. I pulled a stunning blonde out of the fire, and she was only wearing a nightgown. The way she thanked me, I'll remember it for the rest of my life. The morgue worker says, That's nothing. We received a call that a man had died in a hotel. So we arrived, entered the room, and indeed, there was a man lying under a sheet. We removed the sheet, and he had a... We thought it would be embarrassing to carry such a corpse through the whole hotel. So we took a shovel and hit his... The cop and the firefighter ask, So what's the punchline? The morgue worker says, Oh, nothing. We just got the floor wrong. At a nightclub, two people are dancing. One says, Hi, what's your name? The other says, Ronnie, and what's your name? I'm Lisa. How are you, Lisa? Well, you know, I'm kinky, and I can't seem to pick up a guy. Oh, wow, I'm kinky too. Maybe we should hook up. Great. Listen, Ronnie, my parents are not at home today. Maybe we could go to my place. Let's go. I'm all for it. They arrive at Lisa's place and settle in the room. Lisa goes to the bathroom to get ready. Half an hour later, she comes out all trendy in a leather skirt and boots, with a black mask on her face, a whip in one hand, and handcuffs in the other. Ronnie, already in his underwear, freezes. Ronnie, where are you going? Home. But what about our kinky stuff? I'm already turtle and shut closet. Maria went home happy, telling her mother about how she earned $20 by climbing a tree. Her mom responded, Maria, they just wanted to see your panties. Maria replied, See mom. I was smart. I took them off. A husband and wife are making love with the wife on top. She wants to try something different. Let's pretend we're in the rain. Take a shower head and spray water on my back. The husband does so and continues. But it doesn't feel right. There's rain but no lightning. The husband moves a lamp and pulls a cord with one hand while spraying water with the other. Now there's no thunder. Bring a basin. The husband pulls the cord with one hand, sprays water with the other, and stomps his foot in the basin. Then he throws everything away and yells, Who the hell would want to make love in this kind of weather? 
A guy goes to a neurologist. Doctor, I have a serious problem, but you must promise not to laugh. Doc, oh, come on. That would be completely unprofessional. I've been neurologist for 20 years and this has never happened to me. The guy took off his pants, then his underwear, and the doctor, seeing his microscopic member, burst into hysterical laughter. After about five minutes, he apologized to the guy and said, This won't happen again, so what's your problem? The guy glared at him and said, It's swollen. Why did I get divorced? Well, last week was my birthday. My wife didn't wish me a happy birthday. My parents forgot, and so did my kids. I went to work, and even my colleagues didn't wish me a happy birthday. As I entered my office, my secretary said, Happy birthday, boss. I felt so special. She asked me out for lunch. After lunch, she invited me to her apartment. We went there, and she said, Do you mind if I go into the bedroom for a minute? Okay, I said. She came out five minutes later with a birthday cake, my wife, my parents, my kids, my friends and my colleagues all yelling, Surprise! while I was waiting on the sofa, naked. A man and a woman are in a train compartment. They start talking. The man says, I have this feeling that my wife is cheating on me right now. The woman says, I have the same feeling that my husband is being unfaithful to me. How about we get back at them? They get their revenge. The man turns to the wall and sleeps. The woman looks at him, nudges him and says, If I were you, I'd keep getting revenge again and again. But I'm not one to hold a grudge. A farmer goes to the vet. My bull has become lazy. There are no offspring. The vet advises artificial insemination. All right, says the farmer. How will I know if the cows have conceived? Well, if they gather in a pile in the morning, then they're pregnant. And if they walk separately, then they're not. The man understood and did as he was told. He loaded the cows onto a trailer, signaled, and took them to the forest, inseminating them all day. The next morning, he sees the cows walking separately. The next day, he works again, and again the cows walk separately. On the tenth day, from exhaustion, he can't get up in the morning. So he asks his wife to see if the cows have gathered in a pile or are walking separately. His wife looks out the window and says, They're all sitting on the trailer, and one is even signaling constantly. A girl came to the priest in the church to complain. Father, I bought two parrots and wanted to teach them to talk, but they kept repeating the same thing. And what do they say? Hello, we are two do you want to have fun with us? Oh my God, what a scandal. Let's do this. I have two male parrots that I've taught to pray and read the Bible. We'll put your parrots in the cage with them and they will teach them to pray. The girl brought her birds and put them next to the parrots that were praying. The parrots shouted, Hello, we are two birds. Do you want to have fun with us? And one parrot says to the other, Put away the Bible. Our prayers have been answered. Little Johnny is sitting in class, bored. There's a knock on the door. The school principal comes in, brings in a cute girl and says, Here's a new student. Her name is Lola. She will study with you. They seated the girl next to Johnny. The excited Johnny tells her, Come to my house today. My parents went to the country. When she comes home and finishes cleaning, Johnny decides how to get Lola into bed. He decides to put a bottle of wine, good music, cigarettes, and so on. Then he thinks, but she's an honor student. The doorbell rings. Johnny opens the door and sees Lola in her school uniform. Johnny, surprised, says, why are you in uniform? Well, tomorrow is a school day. A man lost his he went to a village healer who said, I'll give you a gnome. When you find work for him, you'll be able to get it up. The man came home, sent the gnome to the garden to dig, and went to his wife. But as soon as they started, he couldn't get it up again.
He went out to the garden and saw that everything had been dug up and the gnome was resting. The man sent him to build a garage, went to his wife, and again, he couldn't get it up. He went out and saw that the garage was ready. The man decided to consult his wife. The wife said something to the gnome, the gnome ran off, and the man got an erect lasted for an hour, two hours, a whole day. The man was surprised and asked his wife, What kind of work did you give him? She replied, Go to the attic, you'll see for yourself. The man went to the attic, and there was the gnome, washing his wife's underwear, scrubbing and scrubbing, then taking them out of the water, sniffing them and complaining. But they still stink. They stink. <laughs> Ha 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 